everyone, this is Custom Spray Mods. Now today, I'm gonna to go over how to mix your paint. All right, well, let's start with the type of paint you got. Do you have a 1K acrylic? If you do, then it's a bit different to other kinds of paint. Basically, the 1K acrylic, most of the time, is mixed 50-50 paint to thinners. Uh, sometimes, it's mixed 60-40 thinners to paint. So that's 60 part thinners, 40 parts paint. Depending on who you talk to, um, they have different ways of mixing it, and depends what kind of uh, brand of paint it is. So, um, yeah, how do you know which one to use? Well, um, we'll go over that later. Okay, so before we go over how you know you've mixed your paint correctly, I just want to tell you about the different types of thinners you can use in your paint. So in your 1K acrylic paints, there's mainly um, a few types of thinners. One is called multi-purpose thinners, the other call is called acrylic thinners. Now these two are pretty much the same. Multi-purpose thinners is the cheaper of the two. It dries a lot quicker. So that makes your paint dry a lot quicker. Use it if you're not too fast about your gloss level. Um, that's the multi-purpose thinners. The acrylic thinners is basically a slower drying thinners. So on uh, in hot weather, your paint tends to dry really quick and that takes away a lot of the gloss. So by using a slower thinners will make your paint dry slower, give you a better gloss and make it easy to sand and buff that final finish. Um, you also have retarder thinners. Now with retarder thinners, you only use a small amount. Um, in very hot conditions, you can use a small amount of that um, thinners, 5%, and that slows your paint dry drying time even more. Uh, it'll give you more of a gloss and uh, makes it a lot easier to sand and buff and sometimes you can just get away with using retarder thinners and you get a nice glossy finish straight off the garden. So they're the thinners for 1K acrylic. So what does 2K mean? 2K means there's two parts. There's a color and a hardener, or there's a primer and a hardener, a clear and a hardener, or something, uh, some kind of catalyst, something that's gonna set off the chemical reaction. When those two parts are mixed together, that starts that chemical reaction, and that causes the paint to go hard, uh, dry hard, and dry strong, and durable, and glossy. So um, 2K paints, to mix 2K paints, there's different ratios of mixture. So some paints, most primers are four to one. Some colors are four to one, two to one. Um, sometimes it's three to one, six to one, um, depending on the brand of paint and the type of two pack that it is. Make sure you check your tin and mixing ratio when you're mixing two-pack paint. Also, a mixing cup like this, mixing cup, that can help you mix your paint. So all you do is um, it has different lines. You put your paint or clear in first, uh, then you top it up to the next level, which is hardener, and then the next little bit is thinners. Most two-pack need some thinners as well. So there's basically three parts. There's paint, hardener, and thinners. Basically that thinners makes the paint thin enough to flow through the gun. Um, yeah, it's important to get that correct. Different temperatures determine different ratios of thinners you put into your paint. So we're gonna go over how to make sure you've got that all mixed up and, um, and correct so you get the best paint job you possibly can. I'm gonna hand you over to Dave, he's gonna tell you that now. Hey guys, Dave here. Now before I go on, I wanna mention the different types of hardeners you can get for your two pack. There's slow, normal, fast, super fast. Normally that's about it. Now the different speeds of hardener determine how quick or slow the 2K will dry. Normally in hot weather, in warm climate, you wanna use a slow hardener. The slower your paint dries, the slower your clear coat dries, the more glossy it's going to be. Sometimes you need your clear to dry fast. In colder weather, you might want it to dry fast, otherwise it'll just stay wet for too long. So there's a few different types of hardens you can use. Choose the one for your climate. I normally recommend using normal, but um, choose for your climate and you'll get your paint looking awesome. Okay, so how do you know you've mixed your paint correctly? After all this, you've mixed it, you've used mixing cups, um, what do you do? You just throw it in the gun and spray it? Well, you can do that, but you still may not be 100% sure that your paint is mixed correctly. So, um, one way to do it is to use something called a viscosity cup. 
Now, what is viscosity? Viscosity it basically means the resistance to flow. So, how something, how fast or slow a liquid can flow. Every tin of paint, most of the time, has a, a little um, little sticker on it or a little uh, print that tells you a um, a number. That number, most of the time, is um, is seconds. So it could be 18 seconds or 20 seconds. Uh, that means that how long it takes that paint to flow through a thing called a viscosity cup. Viscosity cup is a special kind of cup with a good little hole at the bottom and um, it's a special calibrated hole. When the paint flows through that, then you know you've got the correct mixture. Here's a video of how it works, so check it out. Hey, but I'm just painting something in base coat and I'm about to put the 2K clear on top. Before I put the 2K clear, I have to mix it. Now I've got my clear and it says uh, on the tin how to mix it. It's two parts clear, one part hardener. But how do you know if it's mixed properly? Well, here I've got a thing called a viscosity cup. Basically, it's a little cup with a hole at the bottom and it's a specific size hole that is, gives you a measurement. So you put this into your mixing cup and time how long it takes for the paint or clear to drain out of that hole completely. And whoever makes the clear should tell you what the viscosity should be. So this particular clear is 18 to 20 seconds at 20 degrees. So mix up your clear, put this in, and if it takes 20 seconds to fully drain out, you know you've got it uh, mixed correctly. So it just takes the guesswork out, makes it easy when you mix up your clear. Check it out. As you can see, all you do to use the viscosity cup, mix up your clear like normal, put it inside the cup so it fills up, then using a stopwatch, time how long it takes for all that paint or clear to drain out of the cup. Then you know you can adjust it using some thinners and you'll get your paint mixed correctly. Okay, that was a bit too long so I'm going to add some thinners. Well, there you have it. That is some basic information on how to mix your paint. I hope after watching this, you can be a bit more sure about how you've mixed your paint. And that's gonna help get uh, the best possible finish you can through your spray gun and onto your job. Um, so yeah, I um, really hope you enjoyed this episode. It was quick, basic. I've got some more uh, videos on the way. I've got this bike here that I've just bought. I'm gonna tear it apart and paint everything on it. And I'm gonna take you along for the ride. I'm gonna paint the wheels, the frame, as much as I can. Um, it's gonna be quite a long project, but it's gonna be awesome. Um, any suggestions you can uh, send my way, I'm happy to take them, but I'm thinking something crazy, a bit of hydro dipping on them, maybe even something special that I haven't seen before on a bike, which is gonna be pretty cool. So um, yeah, if you can, hit the subscribe button, uh, check out my other videos, and uh, otherwise, that was Coffee Frame Mods.
कहूँ 